flesh. Please, I can't be another one of your situations. Nobody ain't getting out till I let him out today. God. I ain't in the mood to let nobody out. It's gonna be great. It'll be just like old times. That's scary. Justin, good morning. Jeff in Las Vegas. Hey, Jeff. How's it going? Good to connect with you again. Yes, absolutely. Are you kidding? One of my favorite films of the year when they told me that Justin was doing interviews. So I'm like, after the digital release, I go, absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks for having me on again, and I appreciate all your uh, kind words and support. Wonderful. Well, you know, the idea for the movie came to you during a concert, I understand, and within weeks. And within weeks of that idea, you had a treatment? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. A couple of years ago, uh, my wife and producing partner, Allison Smith, and I were watching Todd Snyder play one of his epic shows in Austin. And uh, I remember just turning to her and saying, hey, remind me to tell you after the show an idea that just sparked in my head about how we could turn this song into a kind of small, contained, gritty indie film. And uh, within a couple of weeks, I was uh, sitting down with Todd, pitching him my take on the story. And within a couple of months, we had a finished script, and we were out to actors. And the movie's plot follows the song lyrics so close. Was that always the intention? It's amazing how much you packed in that movie from that one song. Yeah, you know, it was. I really wanted to be, this film to be a celebration of Todd and, and this song in particular, obviously. Um, I just love the song offered such a great framework for these characters in this story. And I thought it was a really great writing prompt and unique challenge to be able to take like, you know, what's done in a four minute song. That's a little bit more, you know, kind of of a sketch of characters and a sketch of a story and kind of expand that out. And what was so kind of powerful about the song to me was just the economy of, uh, character and the economy of storytelling, you know, even sometimes one line like uh, from the song, um, just let your imagination imagine some, you know, just kind of imagine so much more. And so what I wanted to do was to like, you know, I wanted to know more about these characters. I wanted to know where they came from, what this baggage was that they carried around in their lives and kind of what the ramifications of their decisions were. So it, it was like taking this framework and then being able to kind of go back and backfill kind of what happened before they got to the, the rundown motel in the song and kind of who they crossed paths with. And, and, you know, if they, if, uh, if any of those people that they crossed paths with, were going to intersect their lives later. And if they're making bad decisions, how those bad decisions kind of, you know, kind of cause domino effect to kind of, a, you know, resurrect later in the story, you know, <laughs> and how the chickens would come home to roost, so to speak. And, you know, I, I was watching Todd perform just like old times on YouTube recently. Uh, but it, the song takes on a different life when you just read the lyrics. I mean, it really is uh, American poetry. It is, and he's such a talent. You know, I, I just, I've been a big fan of his um, for such a long time, and he's such a unique talent, um, not only just for his ability to tell, to to uh, play, write songs and play great songs, but his storytelling ability is just so unique. And his, his, the way he blends kind of poignant drama with humor was always just an inspiration for me. And he, the economy in which he's able to tell these rich stories and develop these rich characters in a song was just so kind of unique and powerful. You know, it's kind of from the tradition of Chris Christopherson or Johnny Cash or John Prine. And there aren't a ton of people out there like, like those guys and like Todd who, who can tell those stories uh, in a song like that. And he, he's just so unique and so talented. And I, I really wanted to make this film to kind of interpret his work, but also celebrate him and celebrate troubadours like him. And Michael Dorman brought that song to life. Any doubt casting a New Zealander? <laughs> you know, I had seen his work in the Amazon show Patriot, and so I had no doubt that he could pull this off. He's so good in that show, um, and he has to play music in that show too, so that kind of you know, gave me the confidence that, uh, that we found the right guy. You know, this was a real challenge, needle in a haystack, to find a guy who, who's a tremendous actor but can also actually play music 
so convincingly and, and so so well that you know it, it didn't seem like an actor playing music. It seemed like a, a musician who was also a, a great actor, and that was important to me. And then to add, you know, extra degree of difficulty, we have him as this incredible pool shark uh, and a lot of pool hustling in the movie. So being able to find a guy who could not only was a you know world class actor and a great musician, but also a guy who could really shoot stick the way he does in this movie. I often joke with uh, on social media, and I tell uh, tell Tom Cruise better watch out for. Uh, for Michael Dorman coming to take the throne of uh, best actor pool player um, from him <laughs> based on his uh, work in Color of Money. But, uh, yeah, Michael Dorman's tremendous talent. And the entire cast, really, I feel very fortunate to have such a, a great cast assembled for this film. Sophia Bush is amazing, and the chemistry between Michael and Sophia as Jesse and Carla is just just palpable. And then, of course, Dermot Mulroney and Eric Roberts and hip-hop icon RZA, amazing um, and then all the rest of the supporting cast, too. Maura Walters from Boogie Nights, Brian Saka from Wolf of Wall Street, Max Arseniega from Breaking Bad, and then one of my favorites, Randall Reeder from Deadpool, the Marvel movie, is uh, really great as kind of one of uh, Dermot Mulroney's uh, goons. Uh, he plays his character Bump in the film, and Randall's such a huge human and also such a sweetheart, nice guy. It was so fun to be able to work with him, too. Well, Justin, congratulations on an, an incredible film. This movie is a love song to, the, to American music, and uh, I'm sure your Austin Roots was, uh, had a contribution into making this film uh, incredible, too, to hear that folk music first at hand. Um, thank you so much for joining me today, and just wanted to tell you, the Las Vegas Film Critics Society, which I'm a member of, and also the Critics' Choice Association, nomination ballots are going out today and tomorrow, and I have not forgotten your film. It made that much of an impact, so you can count on my support. Oh, Jeff, thank you so much for all the support and kind words. Yeah, we really appreciate it. And, you know, we appreciate everything you're doing to help spread the word about movies. You know, it's a, it's a tough time for uh, independent music and independent films these days. And so, you know, the work that you're doing is just so critical to helping people kind of find out about stuff. And, you know, we're, our, our movie theater run is kind of winding down and the film's now available on demand everywhere. And, you know, we, we appreciate you helping us get that word out there. My pleasure, Justin. Let's talk again soon, and I appreciate uh, your time today. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Jeff. Appreciate it, buddy.